there was a time in my life when I had a comfortable income. My family had everything we needed. We had a house in the suburb. We had more than enough food and supplies stocked up at home. My kids were studying in a private school and we didn't lack anything. Anything that I wanted was within reach. Life was good. And then a financial crisis overtook us and soon everything was gone. We didn't have money most of the time. Food was scarce. Pati yung bahay namin, ako, maririmata na. My kids had to be pulled out from private schools. And any medical emergency was a major crisis financially. When that happened to me, I learned to not keep anything for granted. And I'll tell you something I learned in the midst of crisis. The blessings we receive every day are not in our hands. You may have them one day, and lose them the next. And so we need to acknowledge where all these blessings come from. And we need to learn to ask the one who supplies all our needs. We all have basic needs to survive. Our food, clean water in sufficient amounts for us to stay healthy. We need a place to sleep, a place where we can feel safe, feel at home. Kailangan ng kuryente, o kailangan ng loads of cell phone, pambay sa tuition sa skwela, Pamasahe araw-araw. At paano kung kailangan pa ng gamot na pang maintenance? Now, consider this passage from the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. We all tend to get worried when we lack something we need. Now, God is telling us not to fret, not to worry. And instead of worrying, what we need to do is pray. We need to learn to bring our petitions and concerns to God with full confidence that He will answer and respond to our needs. If we live faithful and obedient lives, we can rest on the knowledge that God loves and takes care of His children those who have given their full trust in the Lord. So the next time you are in need, stop yourself from being overcome with worry. There is someone out there who knows what you need even before you ask. Just come to God in prayer. Come to Him with your petition. Come to Him fully trusting that He will answer and respond to your request. Now, God may not answer directly as you ask, but He has a way of addressing and responding to what you truly and deeply need. He is sure to answer. And so even before receiving His answer, you can already rejoice, thanking Him for His goodness and mercy. Remember, as you learn to always bring your petitions to the Lord, faith matters too.